With us now is our lifestyle correspondent, Harlan Friedman. And Harlan, who did you bring? I brought a dear friend of mine. And you know, we always talk about creative people. Uh, this, this is somebody who's bringing together the creative people. He took his own creative inner best person, created an incredible event, and I introduced to you Noah Doyle. Yay! Thank you, Harlan. You're welcome. Noah. So Noah, you've been in our industry uh, in a plethora of ways. Um, so tell us just a little bit about your background and uh, leading up to the festival. Sure. Uh, we have a small production company where we find authors and writers and uh, create independent um, pilots and, and scripted TV series or, or trying to and in the process of it uh, figured out that there wasn't a place where these scripted episodic pilots could live. Uh, and that was the birth of the North Fork TV Festival. Okay. Is it year four now? This is our fourth year. Fourth year. Okay, That's great. Right. So year four. Um, what's fun and different about your festival is that uh, people are accessible. Yes. It's a very accessible festival. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? So you've got some nice names coming, some nice projects that are going to be um, shown there. How do people apply? I know, I guess the selection process has ended for this year. Absolutely. Okay. So how would somebody go on and submit their idea for next year? Sure. Uh, so in early spring, we uh, open up for independently produced pilots to be submitted to the festival. Uh, we had dozens of these produced pilots from around the world submitted, uh, and our judges and panel who help select are listed on the website, and they spent hours viewing everything and scoring them up. Uh, and then last month, we released the four finalists uh, who will be premiering uh, October 4th and 5th. Uh, and I think it's a wonderful program. Um, our head of programming has put together uh, such a diverse uh, a group of uh, creators that will be there to uh, meet with our guests uh, and also premiere their work. And you're working with Harlan Friedman um, and our television show in Harlan because Harlan makes um, it ring greatness every day, right? Absolutely. So you call Harlan and Harlan has this like Rolodex of connections and happiness and great ideas. So what's, what are we in store for in terms of fun this year, Harlan? What's going to be happening? Oh my God, it's, this year is going to be incredible. So if you've, if you've been to the North Fork of Long Island before, there's a, a famous, famous, it's an institution, it's not even a, a restaurant called okay. Claudio's. Yes. They just did an incredible renovation to their back deck and we're going to be doing our opening night party out there with all of our special guests. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. We have some special entertainment coming in. And then we're closing it out. Our closing, our closing night party is going to yeah. be pretty incredible. Yeah? This brand yeah. new restaurant, Green Hill. Yeah. Okay. We're very excited that they're going to be hosting our closing night party. Uh, we brought Harlan in a couple years ago because you can't have a TV festival without great drinks and food. And uh, someone <laughs> said, call Harlan and you'll make sure that no one will leave uh, hungry or thirsty. And I, so. I just brought my lunch with me. Yes. And they're like, all right, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> um, we are going to have a lot of fun. And on the red carpet, uh, slated to appear, sure. uh, Kelsey Grammer this year. Yes, yep. very excited to. Uh, Constance. Whoa. Ta da! So psyched. I know, so I just excited. saw her uh, last night. Well, I didn't see her personally last night, uh, but I went to go see the kitchen. Great. Mm -hmm. So many great films. Okay, and who else? Uh, Chris Noth is uh, returning to present the Canopy Award uh, to Kelsey. Great. Uh, Chris was our inaugural winner of the award uh, a couple years ago, uh, and we're really excited that he's going to moderate the conversation with Kelsey um, and uh, for everyone to enjoy on, on Friday night. Good. Panels, workshops, any other fun things happening this year? Every one of the post conversations after the pilot screens will be moderated by an established showrunner. Okay. Uh, so Teresa Rebeck. Uh, we'll be uh, hosting one of the panels, which I'm very excited for. Teresa is an acclaimed um, uh, Broadway playwright, um, and a number of other very established uh, TV showrunners will be joining us from uh, Los Angeles and New York City uh, throughout the course of the weekend. And you know, even our uh, new show announcer, Joe Gaccioni, Triple Threat. So eh. I can't wait to like, you know, it, it's all about that. It's about networking sure. and connecting people and celebrating life. So I will be there. Wonderful. Um, October 4th and 5th, right? Well, we're so happy you're joining us for the second year in a row. Uh, you had a, we had a great Thank time you. with you last year, and the fact that you're joining us again. Thank you so uh, we're much. We're so excited. Uh, and tickets are available, festival passes online. Yep, northfork.tv. Swing! Yep. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a great time. Won't you please join us? It's going to be fabulous. People do fly in from all over the world to be there. Uh, it's a happening place. Thank you for watching. This is Donna Drake with Live It Up. Bye.